My name is Arslan Mosenia, and I'm a postdoc research associate at Princeton University. My research lies at the intersection of Internet of Things, data analytics and machine learning, and information security and privacy. I'm a technical member of the security working group at Open File Consortium, where we are working on several security and privacy problems in open fog and fog computing. At Princeton, I am currently exploring how fog computing can benefit autonomous cars and interconnected vehicles. Motivated by the insight that fog computing is the key enabler of several real-time applications, we just presented a fog-oriented architecture that can enable several vehicular applications along the vehicle to cloud continuum. Okay, so based on the fog-oriented architecture that we have developed, uh, we have also implemented an application development framework that will enable developers to come up with new applications for vehicles. By bringing programmability and connectivity into vehicles and also transforming them from isolated objects to uh, smart interconnected objects, we are enabling numerous applications that can potentially enhance user experience, user safety, and also vehicle performance. Two decades ago, when developers have developed uh, you know, traditional cars, they didn't think that in the future we're going to add connectivity to the vehicles. By introducing connectivity to the vehicles, we're actually introducing several new security and privacy challenges. It is difficult to monitor, detect, and address such challenges because we do not have usually the resources needed for you know, like detecting such challenges, such security flaws in the vehicles. So what we are proposing is that if we want to add some resources to the vehicles so that they can also detect very quickly if there is an attack and also address it you know, in, a, uh, in less than a second or something like that. And we also have the privacy issues. When we want to transfer our data, the private data to third-party cloud servers, for example, for further processing. So we always have uh, this problem of private information leakage. By doing the processing locally, we minimize the number of times that we go to cloud servers for further processing, and we can actually minimize the information leakage. We have designed a fog node that you can place into the car and that will bring additional resources, additional computational and the storage resources to the car and it can support a variety of connectivity protocols. By adding that, we can potentially host numerous applications inside a vehicle. Such applications can provide a lot of services for the user, they can enhance the performance of the vehicle, they can, in they can also improve the security of the vehicle and privacy. And in addition to that, we can uh, enable real-time applications and perform computation inside a vehicle. Such applications were not usually uh, feasible before due to, due to the resource limitations that we had in a car. In the security working group, at OpenFog Consortium, we have regular meetings to realize and find out what are the security challenges that we need to face in this paradigm. Basically, so we divide the problems that we have into the problems that we can see at the cloud servers, at the end user, and along this continuum. And we are trying to define some standards and some you know, requirements that we can introduce to the researchers and developers who are interested in this area so that they can take them into account when they're designing their own systems based on fog computing. We currently have millions of vehicles on the streets and we also add millions every year to this market. These cars will be in the market for the next probably 10 to 15 years. Bringing internet connectivity and programmability into these isolated cars can enable several services for them. In my project, I presented a fog-oriented approach that can bring programmability and connectivity to the vehicles and potentially transform them from isolated objects to smart vehicles so that we can have multiple applications on each vehicle until we are waiting for the emergence of autonomous vehicles in the market probably in the next 15 years.